Good morning, Ron. Nikki here, Jim here. Wanted to make a quick video to give you some do's and don'ts. It's a great resource guide to make sure that we get the obedience, the leadership down pat, the praise, and the consequence, which is motivation. It's important that we do all of those and try to do those in the moment. Uh, when we ask her to do something, if she does it, we praise her. If she does it, we bite her. Consequence, tap of the leash, an ant with our mouth, whatever the case may be. The very we have cats running around. This is sort of exciting morning this morning. Uh, the great thing is she may get turned on a little bit. You're going to see my real life reaction to her doing it. Okay. So first thing, let's go. Let's go is our walking command. We're going to give her how much leash we want her to have. In the beginning, it should be sh sort of short, okay? We do not want her walking out in front of us. When she's walking out in front of us, she's leading the way. We're the leader. She gets out in front. She gets excited about going where she wants to go. Forget you, okay? We can't allow that to happen. So if she starts to go up in front, we're going to immediately tap back in the opposite direction. If we start walking and... She's looking over there and we turn this way. If she doesn't come, we're going to tap in the direction we're heading, parallel to the ground. Whenever we tap, we're going to say, eh, or no, and then we're going to follow it with the command, let's go. Okay, then when she starts coming with us, we're going to praise her. On the flip side, if she walks right by us the whole time, we're going to praise her and let her know she's doing what we want, okay? So we're going to tap. The only other thing that you could do is, is change directions a lot in the beginning, or you're walking, she starts to surge, just stop. When she stops, you start tell her, good girl, start to walk again. Why would I do that? Because if we're inhibiting what she wants, she's having to defer to us. So here we go. Let's go. Good girl. So you heard the praise, you heard the tone of my voice. She's walking with me. I slow down. Watch it, good girl. Turn. Good girl. You remember walking by the bed with you? Be ready for that. Sit. Hand signal for sit. Sit means sit, okay? If she did not sit then, I would have the leash and tap straight up and say, no, sit. It's okay, sweetheart. Good girl. Now, again, she has to hold that, and we can go from that command to any other command we want to, okay? But this is the hand signal. Break. That's release. Sit. Hand signal back up again. Good girl. Break. Let's go. She's a little excited this morning. Sit. Next thing is the D-O-W-N command. Down. Good girl. Down means down. With you, She'll try to sneak towards you. We have to not allow that to happen. We tap the leash. Now, how do we tap it? You just get a good tap towards the ground or up. Just tell her, no down. The other thing is, and I'm keeping an eye on her here, is if she starts to chew a rock or something, we're going to bite that. It's going to be no, simple no. So from the side, this is the hand signal. Break. Watch again. Down. Notice, good girl. Notice I didn't tell her to sit first. I could have if I wanted to, or I could just tell her to down. Break. Now I'm going to do it from in front. We did the down from the side. Sit. Good. Good girl. You saw she did it with the hand signal. That means she's watching me to see what I want next. Again, if she didn't down, I'd tap her towards the ground, or tap her and tell her no down. Come. Good girl. Hand signal for come. She comes and sits right in front of us. She's in the, uh, no, sit. She's in the sit command at the end of the come. She can't get up like that. Break. Sit. Come. No come. Good. Gotta hold it. Down. Good girl. Come. Good. Good girl. Break. She's really excited this morning. Nice, cool morning, uh, full of excitement in the air. And guess what? That's going to happen. You just have to be in control, okay? Get the leash right. So everything is loose leash. Everything is a tap and release on our commands. 
the down set, let's go, everything is tap and release. If we pull, we do the work for her. We tap, we make her think. When we tap the leash, leash we do our best to go eh or no. So we're letting her hear our growl uh, with the bite that we're giving. Next thing will be the PLACE command. Let's go. I'm going to point towards the bed. Play. Good girl. She gets on the bed. It's lay down, sit down, stand up. I don't care what she does as long as she stays on the bed. If she gets off the bed, we're going to tap. Like the let's go, parallel, no, 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 place. And then good girl. After every bite, we always praise again. Once our puppy's doing what she needs to do. Break. Good. Good girl. Place. That a girl. That's a good girl. Break. The other thing is the uh, load up command. Load up. That a girl. We already worked with that in your truck. She's going to need to get a little bit bigger to make the complete jump. Break. But what we do in the meanwhile is sort of walk her to and get her some momentum going. Down. Good. You're the dog trainer. You know when you're going to give a command. So when you're thinking about giving a command, know what you're going to do if she doesn't do it. And remember, if she does something once, she breaks a command once, she's going to do it over and over again until you fix it. All right, uh, go ahead, good girl, get on the right side. It's so important uh, the next 30, 60 days that you do everything you can to establish boundaries. Happy boundaries, you praise her when she does it. You give her a command when you know she's gonna do it or you can make her do it. But she really needs to see that you're the leader. Heck, whenever you go to feed her, she needs to sit her down before you give her a food. She needs to earn everything right now, and if you'll do that, you'll come a long way. Uh, next command is the heel command. Sit. The heel command, down, good girl. Right. The heel command is when we have her right by our side and we're walking real close, okay? We're walking, her, she's an imaginary box right here. When I stop, she should sit automatically and hold it, okay? Right here, come on. Sit. Get her started. Heel. Good girl. Heel. Doesn't matter if we turn what we do. When we stop, that's a good girl. She sits. Down. Good. Place. <laughs> Place. Really excited. Uh, it's important that we communicate to her and praise her so she's excited and wants to work like this. See what happens? Now she's in a place. When you're walking through, we've done this plenty of times uh, out here in practice, if she was to get up and come off of it, we would grab the leash, no, 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 place, okay? The other thing is off leash is when you have her off leash, make sure you know what's gonna happen. Okay, don't go and do this in some busy area where she could get lost or get in trouble. Make sure you've got a controlled environment until you know what you can expect, okay? The other thing is, you know, we talked about the come on leash. All right, if she did not come, I would tap the leash towards me. Now, off leash is a totally different ball game. We want to motivate her, and remember, we want to probably give her a treat most times with the come command. And when we give that treat, what are we gonna do? We're gonna target right here. We're not gonna target to the sides. Why is that? Because when we come, we want her focus on us, we want her doing what we want, and we want to praise her. If we hold the treats out here, she's gonna come right to our hand, and what else is gonna happen? She's exposed to the world behind us. And you see, she's looking at birds, butterflies, cats, everything. She's really excited, but she knows her boundaries. Now let's see if I can't break her and get her to come to me. And watch what I do. You can see the camera. Break. Come. Sit. Treat. 
When we give her a treat, we're gonna pet her and love her. Right. Good girl. Down. Good. Now the biggest thing that's gonna happen to you is when she breaks the command from a distance, she's gonna do that play in the game routine. Don't go such a far distance. Keep it a little bit shorter. Right. Yes, sweetheart. That's a good girl. Good girl. Let's go. All right, slow down. There you go. Good girl. Ron, you know I'm a phone call away. We can get together anytime you want. Nikki's a fantastic little dog, okay? She's going to be great. She's just going to be a tester. She is a very dominant dog that wants to lead. The beautiful thing about dominant dogs is when you show you're the leader, that makes her that much more responsive to you and loyal to you, regardless of what else goes on. As a puppy, she gets distracted easily. Guess what? When you're beginning, work in a distraction-free environment. Then as you guys get good, start increasing distractions. Just make sure that you know when the distractions are present by looking out, scoping your environment, and be ready to uh, reply to whatever situation comes up. 336-945-3232. I thank you so much. Again, anytime we can get together and work, you know there's no charge. I just ask you to come out, and Rachel and I will be happy uh, to do whatever we can do. Thank you so much. Take care. Good girl.